Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well, today, instead of a vacuum cleaner demonstration, I'm going to be reviewing this Bosch washing machine. Now, this machine was supplied to me free of charge from Bosch. I was lucky enough to be selected for their review panel. That nice man, Carl, who works at Bosch, dropped me a line and said, you've been selected to test one of our new washing machines. So that's what I'm doing today. I've made a written review for Bosch on their website. And as an added bonus, I thought I would do a video demonstration. So I'm going to start off by taking you on a guided tour of this washing machine, pointing out the various features and functions, and then I'm going to start a wash load in it. And then a little bit later on, I'm not going to film the whole wash process, but uh, when the washing's finished, we'll see how clean it leaves my laundry. So starting at the top of the machine, we have the detergent drawer. Pretty standard affair. You have three compartments. The first one is for your main wash, powder or liquid detergent. The middle section is for fabric softener. And this section here is for any pre-wash detergent. If you need to remove the drawer for cleaning, you just simply press this button here. The whole drawer comes out. You can rinse that under the tap. And also from time to time, you might find gunge building up inside this section here. So it all comes out for easy cleaning. Moving on to the option buttons on this Bosch washing machine. The first button here is Speed Perfect. Now you can use that on most programs. That reduces the wash time by a considerable amount, but don't use it if you've got heavily soiled items. Speed Perfect gives you good results, but only on lightly soiled to moderately soiled clothing. I do tend to use that quite a lot, to be honest, and I've not had anything that's come out dirty. Now, the other option, apart from Speed Perfect, is Eco Perfect. That uses the least amount of electricity, but it does run at a slightly lower wash temperature, but it does take a lot longer. So if you're not in a hurry and you want to save some money, press the Eco Perfect button. Reduced ironing, you can use that in conjunction with Speed Perfect and Eco Perfect. That reduces the spin speed and it gives a final tumble to fluff up the clothes at the end of the wash. Now it's going to be a reduced spin so it will leave your clothes damper than normal. So if you want your clothes as dry as possible, do not press reduced ironing. Aqua Plus gives you an additional rinse. It also increases the water level of most wash programs. Moving along the control panel, we have the spin speed selector button. This enables you to change the spin speed on selected programs, but it won't allow you to spin it faster than the program allows. You can go slower, but you can't go faster. So for example, I've got the machine set on a cotton's wash, which allows me to use a 1400 spin. But if I've got some delicate cottons, I don't want to spin too fast. I can select a lower spin speed, down to 400 RPM if I wish to. If, for example, I'm selecting a delicate program, the default spin speed is 400, but I can actually increase it by pressing that to 800, but it won't allow me to go above that. So that just saves your fabrics from damage. So apart from selecting the various spins, you can also select rinse hold. So if you're not around when the machine's going to finish, if you select rinse hold, it's going to hold the clothes in the final rinse water until you're ready to actually spin them. Whenever you select a program on the main control dial, this panel here illuminates to tell you how long the program has to run. Should I press the start button now, it will start the machine obviously, and this time will count down to zero. So it gives you an indication of how long you've got to wait for your laundry. You can also delay the machine to start. So if I want the machine to start in two hours, I just press the delay start button once, then press the start button, and then in two hours from now, the machine will run the selected program. And you can delay the start of the machine all the way up to 24 hours. So this means it takes advantage if you've got a cheap overnight tariff, you can have the machine coming on overnight when your electricity is a bit cheaper. During a program, as well as having the time remaining illuminated, you also have lights here. So it tells you when it's in wash mode, tells you when it's rinsing, tells you when it's spinning, and of course, it tells you when it's finished. This is the main control dial of the Bosch washing machine. It's fairly straightforward, but one criticism I will have of this particular model, it sometimes is a little bit difficult to determine which setting you've got. You sort of have to sometimes double check that you've got it on the right program. 
Anyway, you've got cottons, so you can have a cottons 20 wash, 30, 40, cottons 40 plus pre-wash, or a cottons 60 degree wash, or if you're washing nappies, and not many people do, but some people do, you even have a cottons 90 wash, so that will really sanitise anything that goes through the washing machine. The programme underneath is mixed load, now that takes about an hour, and that is one of the most useful programs I find. It's one I use the most. It's where you can mix cottons and synthetic fabrics in the same load. It's meant for, for generally lightly soiled clothes, not heavily soiled clothes. But I find that that's the program I use the most. It's the same program I had on my old Bosch washing machine and I was glad to see that it was included on this one. Now, this program here is rinse and spin. Now some people have complained in various reviews that you can't do a separate spin. Well you can, all you have to do is select the rinse and spin option and you'll notice that the Aqua Plus light illuminates. As you can see the Aqua Plus light is illuminated so you leave that if you do want a rinse and a spin. If you want a spin only all you have to do is press the Aqua Plus button so the light goes out and now the machine will do a spin only. And you can also select the spin speed you require. The default setting is 1200 RPM, but by pressing the button, you can do a slower spin or up to the fastest 1400 spin speed. And finally on the control panel is the start and reload button. So once you've selected the main program using the control dial and any options you require, you just press start, reload, and the machine will start working. Now the reload feature is extremely useful. Now it's Sod's Law, you've put a load of washing in, you've pressed the start button, you've gone upstairs and you've found a pair of socks or a pair of pants that you've dropped. What can you do about it? Well, with this Bosch, it's very simple. When the machine's running, you just press this button again, and if it's safe to do so, the machine will it'll just pause for a moment and it will illuminate yes in the control panel and unlock the door and then you can just add the washing you dropped. It will only allow you to do this if the washing temperature is low enough so if it's heated it for too long it won't allow you to open the door and it won't allow you to open the door if the water level is too high. But in most cases if you've discovered a stray item of laundry Within five minutes of starting the program, you should be able to add it using the reload function. So that is very useful. This Bosch washing machine has a nice large porthole for easy loading and unloading. Sturdy handle on the side. Now, this door will open further, but it's just in my situation, just out of shot, I have a cupboard because this washer is in a corner, so it won't open fully but it still obviously gives me full access to the drum so I can easily put my clothes in there. It's a large eight kilogram capacity, suitable for a full family load. To give, to give an example, you can easily wash a full king size bedding set. So that's your duvet cover, your fitted sheet, four pillowcases. You can even get a few other bits and pieces in as well with, with no trouble whatsoever. So it's a nice large capacity if you've got lots of washing to do. The inside of the drum has been specially designed to care for your clothes while giving you the maximum water extraction when it's spinning. You've also got three paddles which obviously create the agitation in the wash load to get the clothes clean and they also scoop up the water so as the drum rotates it scoops up the wash water or the rinse water and then cascades it down onto the laundry so this enhances the washing and the rinsing performance. Okay, so that's an overview of the various features and functions of this washing machine. Now it's time to do a wash load. So today I'm just going to do a load of old tea towels on a Cotton's 60 program. So they are pretty dirty. And another thing I'm going to wash is this microfiber pad from my Sonic floor cleaner. As you can see, that's pretty dirty. So all that, I'm just going to pop into the drum loosely. Got some dishcloths as well, some towels I've used to clean the dog's paws. So quite a dirty wash load to cope with. Now I like to use a dispenser in the machine. I use liquid detergents most of the time. So I filled up this little dispensing unit with my detergent. Now you might find compared to your old washer that this will use much less detergent. So 
I've often overdosed on detergent and the thing is with this machine less is more. So I've got 35 millilitres, it looks like a tiny amount but believe you me that is more than enough to clean this wash load. So I'm just going to pop that on the top at the back and securely close the door. As I don't need to add fabric conditioner for this particular wash load, I'm not going to put any in the drawer, but at this stage, if you do want to add fabric softener and you've used a dispensing ball in the washing machine, you can put your fabric softener in the middle part of the detergent drawer. Okay, so now I need to select the main program. So I'm just going to do a bog standard 60 degree cotton program. So I just have to turn the dial on the cotton side to 60 it's telling me that it's going to take 2 hours 45 minutes and it's going to spin at 1400 revolutions per minute when the washing's finished. The little light on the start reload button is flashing indicating that I need to press that. Now it's this stage if I want to select any options I can do. For example if they're not too dirty I want them in a hurry I can press speed perfect and you can see how it slashes the time from 2 hours 45 to 1 hour 6 minutes. So I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to leave it on the 2 hour 45 program. Now if I want to do it on Eco Perfect, instead of taking 2 hours 45, on this particular program it will take 3 hours 54. So that is only if you're not in a hurry, that will use less electricity, but it should give you the same results, it will take longer of course. Obviously on these, this particular wash load, it's tea towels, I don't need to select the reduced ironing, neither do I need to select the Aqua Plus. You'd only select Aqua Plus if you want an extra rinse, if you're sensitive to your detergent, you can select Aqua Plus, which of course will increase the wash time. But I'm just doing a standard 60 program, so I'll deselect Aqua Plus, and now all I have to do is press the start button. As you can see it's filling up and it's actually working out how much water to add. It will sense what's in the wash tub and it will add more or less water. As it's done a bit of tumbling it will sense if it needs to add more water. Now one thing I will say about this machine it has eco silence drive which basically makes it very very quiet. My previous Bosch was a model extremely similar to this, most of the same programs but it was considerably noisier because it used a traditional motor with carbon brushes. The Eco Silence Drive is a brushless motor. A lot of washing machines have this feature now. So in theory, the motor should last longer without any wear on the carbon brush, but it also makes it much, much quieter. So once it's filled up, all you can really hear, you cannot hear the motor. All you can hear, basically, is the water swishing around and the clothes tumbling in the drum. It'll tumble around for a short time and it will determine if it needs to add a bit more water. As you can see it's going very slow, I don't know why it does that, my old one didn't but that's quite fun. It's going very slow at that stage. Only seems to do that at the beginning of the program. Again now it's tumbling at the normal speed. And if after a couple of minutes it, it feels like it needs to add some more water, it will do. So basically, you just set it and forget it. I don't know if you can pick up how very, very quiet. The camera is just a couple of feet away from the machine. And as you can hear, there's no sound from the motor whatsoever. So this is a big plus over my previous Bosch. The noise level of this machine is considerably less. Now the machine has decided to add a little bit more water. It's obviously sensed that it needs some more water in the wash. So it's adding that water now. It's obviously still at the start of the program so it won't be heating the water yet. I don't think it's going to add any more to that. Now it's at this stage, if I want to add some laundry, I can press the start reload button and hopefully 
After a short pause, it's saying no at the moment. Now it's saying yes on the control panel. So it enables me to open the drum so I can add whatever laundry I've forgotten. Close the drum and press the start button again. So there you go. I'll leave the washing machine to finish its full wash, rinse and spin cycle and then we'll be back at the end to show you the results. Well, that's the washing finished. And uh, one little niggle about this Bosch, and it was the same with my previous Bosch. It's not content with that first audible signal. It will continue to do that for quite a while afterwards until I actually switch the machine off. I do believe there is a facility to turn that off, but that facility is lost if you switch the machine off at the mains, which I like to do. I've got a socket or a line of switches actually, and one controls the washing machine. So when I've finished with this, I like to switch it off. So anything that you've programmed into it regarding the signal is forgotten. So it will still continue to beep. 
It's not beeping yet, but it will, trust me. If I don't turn it off now, there we go, right on cue, it started beeping again. So we'll turn the control dial to the off position and have a look. Now, because of what's in here, everything's stuck to the sides in a normal wash load. They don't tend to stick, but with tea towels, I find that they do stick to the drum. So you just have to help them along. Right, let's have a look at the dirtiest item in here. Obviously your results will depend on what sort of detergent you use. Oh. Well, that's certainly a lot cleaner than it was, but I think it shrunk. <laughs> I think it's my fault, it would be a <laughs> That's not the fault of the washing machine. I forgot that I'm only supposed to wash this on a 30 degree wash. And because it's gone on a 60, I think that, I think that shrunk a little bit. I think it'll be okay. I do have a spare one, so I'm not too bothered. But it's certainly clean, as are all the other items, all the other tea towels and dishcloths. They look pretty clean to me and just damp enough for me to tumble dry or in the summer hang on the washing line. So there we go, that's the full review and demonstration of this Bosch Vario Perfect washing machine. It's a solid machine, it's well made, I'm really pleased with it, so it's a definite thumbs up from me. I've been happy with Bosch for many years, my kitchen, I don't know if you can just about see up here I have a Bosch kettle, I also have a Bosch toaster. Just in front of me is a Bosch Classics Slimline dishwasher that I've had for over 10 years. It's still working fine. I will probably replace that with a full-sized Bosch dishwasher when that one eventually gives up the ghost. Um, oh, also behind me here, a Bosch fridge freezer. I also have in the kitchen cupboard somewhere a Bosch hand mixer. The only thing I don't have, surprisingly, considering my channel, I don't actually have a Bosch vacuum cleaner, apart from a vintage one that I unboxed on my channel quite a while ago. Anyway, I hope you found this review enjoyable or at least interesting. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments section below and please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video, which normally on my channel is vacuum cleaners and other floor care products, but I do occasionally slip in the odd other domestic appliances. As you can see from this, I've done a washing machine, I've done other washing machines on my channel as well. So until the next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.